Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. We talk about a few options here that we have on the chart um, because this more and more makes the impression to me that it's it's unfolding in a so-called ending diagonal pattern. I already showed you in the previous video this kind of ascending wedge here or we actually had it on the chart for a while now. Um, it's really following it nicely and I've got a count on the chart here that would assume we can even push higher which of course is always a possibility but um, we need to be realistic and of course you know this count that i have on the chart which suggests we really have only completed a one two setup within a larger um, fifth wave here this will i think only really become you know in come into fruition if um, we break out of this wedge to the upside and so far we haven't done that. I mean, today we've made a slightly higher high. The price is with that, following my expectation that we can still push higher. However, we are constrained currently by this pattern. So what are the possibilities? So first of all, let's talk about the imminent price action that we have on the chart here at the moment, where I assume that off the low, we moved up in a wave one, came down in two, we moved up in three, this year was possibly a wave four in a WXY pattern, and we're now moving higher in a fifth. That would be a very much extended fifth wave. Not invalid, absolutely not. A fifth wave can become longer than a third. That's not a problem at all. Um, but the price action here suggests really that we're starting to move in a diagonal. It starts to lose the impulsive character, but it's not entirely clear to me yet, but I'm certainly watching if we find key resistance and strong resistance at the top of that wedge. But anyway, let's let's zoom in and let's talk about the options here and what the price needs to do to fulfill the scenario. So in the previous video, we talked about that we, um, obviously in this fifth wave to the upside, yeah, that we could have completed a one, two setup here. Yeah, that's sort, sort of working out. We didn't break below key support, fine. Now we could be moving up in another wave one. So basically a one, two, one, two setup. Um, it would have to be another wave one here because this is not impulsive. This looks to me also again like um, a diagonal pattern. I mean, you can still count it as an impulse. Um, the point, oh, let me just double check that. Oh yeah, no, no it, it can still be counted as an impulse. Um, we also didn't break below the 50% FIP level. Only briefly, a wick is not a problem. So yeah, it works out as an impulse still and the fifth wave that we talked about in the previous video is still possible and for a fifth wave here to the upside within the within a wave one again um target wise what would we expect for that fifth wave well first of all we could take the length of the third wave go to the low of the fourth and it would take us to 39.12 cents first target i think we talked about that probably in the first in the last video um but I wouldn't be surprised to push a little higher eventually and get to the top of that kind of wedge pattern. However, I need to draw it more accurately than onto the chart. A bit like that, yeah. And that would be around 39.7 cents. That's certainly next key um, next key resistance, okay? So that should be fine. That should be clear now. Um, we also discussed in the previous video, I believe, the 39.12 cent level because there's another way of calculating that target and that would be by taking the length of that wave one going to the low of the wave four and we're looking for the 1.618 extension and yeah that takes us exactly to 39.12 cents so keep watching that um if we after this high if we break down and fall to the downside break out of the wedge to the downside well then we are probably looking at a different pattern that i'm going to talk to you about but this is certainly a possibility. It would be quite a bullish setup. One, two, one, two. Yeah, so after this fifth wave, we should come down in another uh, wave two and then rally in this third wave here. This would actually be a really bullish setup that I have on the chart here. But I can't really believe it, okay? No, I can't really believe it based on the, the price action here, the wedge, and what other cryptos are doing as well. But this is a possibility, and if we break out of the wedge to the upside, certainly something we need to consider very very closely now the other probably more realistic pattern to be honest is that wave four finished down here yeah well, i mean we entered here in this price range anyway the support range 
the trend reversal range, you know, the support area back then. And um, you could then argue that we are moving up in an ending diagonal, that this fifth wave is basically what we're putting in now. That would also end the higher degree wave one. So it would indicate that this was actually a wave one up. This was a wave two down in an ending diagonal of a wave five. This here is a wave three. This is a wave four. And we're now putting in this fifth wave. You can see also very nicely, it looks very much like a three wave move at the moment, um, based, you know, if you zoom out a little bit. And uh, that makes sense because a way, an ending diagonal consists of three wave structures. So each of these subwaves would be an ABC. Um, but yeah, that's sort of, sort of a possibility as well. We would then need to see if if we push higher after this high, then yeah, then it's probably this other count that I have on the chart. Until then, we can also go with this ending diagonal. We need to observe both. And with this ending diagonal here, what would happen? After we peak here, we should break down, exit the wedge to the downside and fall down. Not necessarily to new lows, but it, we should all be happy about it because it could lead to um, a nice um, trade setup here in the wave two support area. I will be able to give you that support area as soon as we have a confirmed top in place. Um, at the moment, this support area would sit in the area between the 78.6 and the 50% FIB level between basically 27 cents and 31 and a half. That would be an, a really good entry area. And if the bear market is already over, then this will be the last time that we will see these prices. So I'm certainly going to add to my portfolio in that range, knowing that if it fails, okay, it fails, but then we are still fairly close to the bottom anyway of the bear market. Um, I probably will only enter with spot positions, so I don't really mind. I will maybe not even set the stop loss. Um, because there is a potential that we will move up in a one, two, three, four, five, so that we will be able to trade a wave three. And if we can't trade a wave three, then there's a potential that this year was an A wave, we come down in B, will rally in C. And also that could take us way higher. Um, of course, condition is that the 27 cent level holds because if the 78.6 retrace doesn't hold, it probably breaks down, we'll make a new low. But can you actually see that this would be an opportunity to come down and actually retest this larger channel from above, flip resistance for support. Yeah, so that would be interesting when we come down to that level. Okay, and that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.